it's time to clean up the shop. That will quite literally never get old. The sounds that this truck makes are absolutely mind boggling. This is the time of your life, the moment to live, the moment to shine, the moment to rise and take over the world. I'm on top of everything, on top of my game. Big city life, big city dreams. Think large, go hard, shine light for the ones in the dark. Stay true to yourself and go big from the heart. You're gonna dream big, you better dream large. Blocking lanes on the boulevard. Cutting shots, cause you're in charge. You're gonna dream big, you better dream large. That is one clean shot. Ready to start the next build. Oh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another beautiful day in Pennsylvania. We've got some contractors up at the homestead today helping to finish off the master bath renovation. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And those of you that do follow me on Instagram, I know a lot of you guys are really invested in that project. It's been a lot of fun, but it's been a ton of work. I'm not gonna lie, like doing a bathroom renovation is way more work than I had ever imagined, truthfully. The demo is easy, the rebuilding part, takes a while. Now guys, we gotta talk a little bit today about why one of our builds is in limbo. This absolutely sucks, I wanna get started on it, but I can't, and I'll explain why here in a second. I just wanna let you guys know that a bird just pooped on Sarge, literally just like right two seconds ago. And that is upsetting, but that's not what I wanted to tell you guys. I wanted to tell y'all that there's just two days left for 15 times entries for the launch week of Dream Diesel giveaway number 18, our 2020 Gloss Army Green, one of one, F450, Platinum Power Stroke, that truck right there, and $30,000 cash is going to be going to somebody. And that somebody could be you if you decide to get entered. Our biggest multiplier is about to end for the entire giveaway. Just a friendly reminder, gate update. We don't have one other than the fact that we did some stuff this morning, so we do have one kind of, except those aren't hung yet. I find it to be absolutely hilarious that my West Coast counterpart, AKA my brother from another mother, AKA my Chevy compatriot, D-Max Rhino on the West Coast is working on a drive driveway project himself and you know what it couldn't have been any more of just the universe solidifying the fact that we are homies because I bought that gate a month and a half ago and I'm sure Rhino you were planning your driveway project in advance as well and then we both happened to execute them around the same time and our content reflects that. Our concrete is very much dry which is very very good but it is not cured yet. I don't know what the quick creep cure time is, that is a mouthful, but they say concrete and average takes 30 days. We are not gonna wait that long to hang the actual gates themselves, but I'm not so much in a rush because we don't have our electric hooked up yet, and I wanna make sure that they are cured before we cover everything up indefinitely. We did a little bit of work up here this morning. I had a friend, Johnny, come over with his Johnny John Deere 1025R. He's got a little back on the back to help us out with some trenching. Yosh! House mods! quite the actuator. <laughs> the way you're sitting right now is just... I'm eager to see if it's a good cut. I don't think it is. We actually ended up running the underground insulated wire for the actuator arm for this side of the gate, right across the center here. We also buried another wire that's also insulated, so we didn't put it in any conduit, right there. 
It's got a big magnetic sensor on it, and what it is going to do is open the gate when it detects a vehicle coming from this side of my driveway or this side of my driveway from the inside so we don't have to hit any buttons or fobs or anything like that. You'll pull up to right about this vicinity here or this vicinity right kind of here, and it will detect it because it's actually in the ground right here, and it will open the gate automatically for us. It's going to be very cool. I'm super excited about it. I also learned that from my first time laying conduit, I didn't do a bad job, but I also probably didn't do the best job because 50% of you say that you shouldn't lay Cat6 communications cable in the same conduit with 12.2, and then the other 50% said it's fine. I did get advice from standardgates.com, and they did say I should be fine from other clients' experiences in their network. So I did that, but I'm leaving this all exposed in the instance that I do have to run a little bit more conduit. All I have to do to rerun that wire, because I have another like 700 foot in my house, is just open up our little driveway cross spots, and I'll be ready to rock and roll. I'm not really all that stressed. The Kubota definitely makes very, very light work of that. And this coming week, we are going to have my good friend Andre come out. He is my electrician of choice, a homie and a subscriber. He started off as actually do my electrical work. He will be installing a 20 amp circuit in our breaker and it will be house mods, house mods, house mods, my friends. You know, I'm really all about house mods because not only do they change the aesthetic appeal of your house, they also add value to your house. And that my friend is a smart investment. So I got to give you guys updates about Convict and OG 2.0, but first Convict. So as of right now, it is still very much a pathetic truck and it has not moved. I miss driving it so much. I just want to be able to drive this thing around and stunt the F450 game, but I kind of can't. And plus I'm not driving Sarge all that much other than on nice days because I really don't want to get it all dirty. It's super clean right now and I don't really want to mess that up. I did have it hooked up to the gooseneck the other day and it looked oh so glorious. If you follow Enthusiast Apparel on Instagram, you saw that. And if you don't follow us there, you need to do that right now, right here. So we're still sitting on the super single 38, 13 fives and the 24, 12 up front. We did end up bringing one of the stock wheels up on either side for the back so that we could get them off the jack stands. And then some of you guys noticed these KG1 wheels on the dovetail of my PJ. Our good friends over at Standout Specialties are the ones that actually hooked us up with the JTX wheels originally for this truck. And then when the scenario happened that the wheels got stuck, we reached out to JTX and they are very much working on getting us another set of internals. But the guys over at Standout Specialties were very nice in calling on response to the scenario that happened and said, we have some inner dually wheels. Granted, they are polished. They're very, very nice at that. They look very cool. I'd be curious to see what the other sets of them look like that we will let you use no problem if you want to get the truck up and running. And that was very tempting. So I ended up saying yes, but then I failed to realize that actually I can't put them on quite yet. We also don't have the big 10 lug adapters and we don't have spacers. We have those spacers, but they're just scrap metal at this point in time. I can't reuse them because the inner bore isn't the right size. And I can't reuse the spacers that were from JTX because they also got stuck and we're not the right size. Now I did drop them off the other day over to a friend of mine who has a machine shop. He is going to work on boring out the internal size of those spacers. But then we still run into the scenario that I might not be able to mount up the new tires that I got from custom offsets, who is, as a matter of fact, our number one source for all rubbers going forward. I'm going to put a link down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. They are just, oh, look, a butterfly. They are just the best when it comes to variety, size, availability, and shipment times. You cannot top. Plus my homie Dustin over there, he's just a good friend of mine and he is tremendously helpful. So we've got these new tires. I'm not going to reveal the size quite yet as I do want to keep that somewhat of a surprise, but they will look very good on this truck when we go down from the 38.13.5. That's as much as I'll give you right now. Unfortunately, the 38s on a four inch lift kit are, are just not, they just don't work at all. So that kind of brings us to the convict situation. Not much progress there. Hoping to get this truck back on the road any day now so we can continue the build because I really miss daily driving this truck. And that brings us to my current daily driver on all days, all occasions, my parts hauler, my general hauler in general is the OG 2.0 build. It's been awesome because I've been all the feels and all the familiarity of OG OG 1.0 or the OG, o OG Duramax? Yeah, you guys follow my drift. It's kind of killing me because I wanted to start this build a long time ago. We've already got wheels for this thing. We've already got a lift kit for this thing. We got to get parts to powder coat. We got to get parts to paint. We got to do the things that I've checked all the boxes on and started ordering parts for in my mind. It's just that if we put this thing under the knife, then I don't have a daily truck right now. And that is very much a problem. I know you guys are so excited about the OG 2.0 build and you've all been asking about it. I see your messages daily about when it's going to begin. So I had to make a vlog specific to answering your questions because I too am also anxiously awaiting its start. Although daily driving this thing has been blissful because not only does it feel really good, the nostalgia just brings back the memories. The Fleece Cheetah 63 Turbo along with the 10 millimeter extra G injection pump in this thing make it so fun to drive and the turbo responsiveness is just out of this world. Listen to all those cicadas. 
Fun fact, I just learned that cicadas spawn every 17 years and they come out of the ground. They naturally burrow around trees. Being that there were trees everywhere around here, there were obviously cicadas for 17 years in the ground before I decided to take all the trees out. And these holes right there, them, them, there, 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 there. See all those holes everywhere? Yeah, those are all cicada exit burial holes. Here is one of their exoskeletons right here. They probably fell off the tree. I can't even believe I'm touching this right now. But it's crazy, they're literally everywhere. See all these holes, guys? Those were all bugs that came out of the ground around the same time, and now they're in the trees. Singing the song of their bug, trying to find a mate. What a romantic sound, love is in the air. It's a fantastic thing. So that is kind of a small update about what's going on. I'm sorry guys, I really don't have anything else planned for this video because I wanted to get started on that truck today. I was hoping that we would get the replacement wheels already, but I need to be a little bit more patient. JTX is doing a great job of keeping me in the loop and expediting a set of wheels for the situation that was handled. And their customer service is just unparalleled. I can't be any more appreciative of not only JTX Forge, but also Standout Specialties as a local Lancaster County based business for coming through and providing those wheels. I haven't really quite decided if we're actually going to mount up those tires because spoiler alert they're the same width as the 38s and I don't know if I do marry them together if I'll need that spacer but we'll need the hub adapters before we do that and you guys can kind of see the debacle that we're in and now that we've done pretty much an entire driveway update I might as well just not leave out the LBZ Duramax right spoiler alert we also have a lot of parts on the way from some familiar vendors that we've worked with for a very long time on the channel for the LBZ Duramax and they may or may not be delivering them with a very very special beautiful color on said parts, which we are pretty excited about. And we are gonna be getting started on that thing, honestly, very soon. Now, guys, we might also be bringing another truck onto the channel soon. You guys know that right now, COVID has made truck procurement especially challenging, but I'm looking for a very specific, let's just say GMC or Chevy. I'm open for either. It just depends on which one we can find at the time. Drop your comments below. Would you rather see me get a GMC or would you rather see me get a Chevy? I'm not gonna reveal what year we're looking at, but hopefully we can find one very soon because I've got some ideas in my mind, to say the least. It seems like lately rain's been on the forecast for the end of each one of our vlogs, but I guess that's okay because my grass and my trees very much enjoy it. Hashtag the simple things in life or maybe dad enjoyments i have no idea but anyway guys that's where we're gonna wrap up this video grab your 15 times entries before they end for dream just giveaway number 18 aka sarge aka that one of one gloss army green f450 and thirty thousand dollars cash i'll see y'all in the next upload